Welcome wrestling fans, welcome to another edition of Wrestling Talk where I bring you wrestling news, pay-per-view predictions, WWE 13 gameplay, wrestling news, rumors, headlines, and everything that you deserve around the famous one, famous team WWF 2001. I want to thank everyone tuning into the show as always and leave me your comments and opinions at the end of the show. Like this video and subscribe. Um, TLC, Loudest Tables and Chair. 2012, I saw this DVD. It's a very good DVD, and I like the matches they had on the card. I didn't get to watch it, so I went to go pick it up at my local store, FYE. Went to go pick it up, and I'm gonna get my review and the matches they had. So, let's hop right into it, shall we? We have Rey Mysterio, Sin Cara, versus Damian Sano and Cody Rhodes for the number one contenders for the WWE Tag Team titles. Um, it was a very good match. I liked that when Rey Mysterio and Sin Cara teamed up and went against these two. I love Cody Rhodes. I love Damian Sandow. I love... Damian Sandow has very good mic skills. Like, I'm impressed for what he does on the mic. He can wrestle good, but he's better on the mic, though. When he says, silence, silence, and the, um, the massive savers or something, like, he's awesome. He can talk. He's, well, I know he can talk, but he has good mic skills. Love what he does. Very, very, very impressive match. I was impressed by this match, and I liked the hot spots. Loved the moves. Um, you know, what I loved about Damian Sandow and Cody Rhodes in this match, they were really working together. That's what I love about tag teams when they're in matches. They, 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 they focus. They work together as a team. You know what I mean? That's what I love about Cody Rhodes and Damian Sandow. It was awesome. And the hot spots were good. Sin Cara goes to a table and they win. They win the match. So Damian Sandow and Cody Rhodes win. Very good match. I was impressed. And then we have the U.S. title in Tony Cesaro versus R-Truth. I liked it. I like Antonio Cesaro. Like I said, he's. I give. I I support him. I'm a fan of Antonio Cesaro. This guy is a very talented wrestler. I love what he brings to the table and what he could bring in the ring. This guy is awesome. He's another good person who's good on the mic, and I love what he said at the end of the match. Um, and when he first our truth, that I it was a good match. I had nothing to complain about. They did very good. They did good working together in the ring with, you know, R-Truth and Cesaro. The mat, the entrances are cool, of course. But, hey, he had his neutralizer. And Antonio comes out for the win. Just get a little brief stuff. That's it. Um, and then at the end of the match, Antonio Cesaro wins. And then he says some stuff. He's like, he says that he is the greatest U United States champion of all time. Says he had says that us people, United States people, we have no respect for ourselves and our country. You know, I mean, it's Antonio Cesaro, man, is amazing. I love what he does. Um, and then we have Dolph Ziggler backstage. Now he said, now this is the whole thing where Dolph Ziggler has that Money in the Bank briefcase and that is up for grabs and whoever wins it, it's a Money in the Bank ladder match, which I never, never heard of that. At a TLC pay-per-view, you know, it was the first time ever that's ever happened at TLC, if I'm correct. And he had a win, and if he won it, he'd still be money in the bank. But if John Cena win it, it'd be the other way around. But then Ziggler says, if Cena wins, he gets his money in the bank, and says it don't make sense to him because what's been going on, you know, with the whole money in the bank and the match thing, you know, he says it doesn't make sense, Josh. Doesn't make sense. He says maybe Cena will lose his mind, lose his fans. And Dolph says tonight, everything changes at TLC. And let me tell you, man, everything changed in that match. We'll get to that towards the end, though. And the promos are good. Well, not the promos, but the suck. The 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 scenes are good when the wrestlers, when they the announcers interview the wrestlers. It's amazing. I love how. This thing, you know, they keep this thing going. I love it. Then we have The Miz TV. Wow. The Miz TV. How awesome is that? How awesome is that, right? Miz calls out 3MB, and he says, the train wrecks. 3MB 
says they're better than Jay-Z. And then our brother the Rio comes out and saves Ricardo. Ricardo Rodriguez. Because 3MB is making fun of the Spanish announcers. You know, speak it in America. We speak English. And they're ruining them. You know, Ricardo comes out. They're beating up Ricardo Rodriguez. But then our brother the Rio would come out and save Ricardo Rodriguez. And then Miz, um, a Heat Slater pushed Miz into the chair, into the couch. And not really pissed off Miz, because you know, this is Miz TV here, and you don't do that on Miz TV. They were totally disrespecting Miz when 3MB came out, jumping on the couch and stuff, totally disrespectful. But it comes out, they um, won the match against 3MB. No, 3MB says, You want a match against us? And they accept, they had to pick one more person, and it was awesome. And it was good to see that, you know, Miz TV on a TLC pay-per-view. I think that was awesome, you know, to see Miz, you know, have that. They, I love Miz TV. It's awesome. They should keep that going because it's great. It's a great entertainment, too. Then we have Kane and, back, Kane and Daniel Bryan backstage. Daniel Bryan hates to feed me more a chant, you know, and he hates hearing it every single time. And then, over and over again. And then Kane says, if Ray B Ryback is hungry, we will feed him the shield. We will feed him more, feed him more, feed him more, feed him more. <laughs> then, then we have, then backstage again, Wade Barrett gets interviewed. He says he's confident about winning against Kofi Kingston tonight for the IC title. Because Wade Barrett is not the Intercontinental Champion. Um, Kofi Kingston is. And then... Wade Barrett versus Kofi Kingston it was a very good match. Those two put a hell of a match on when, you know, these two face each other. They do a very good job. They're intense. I like what they bring to the table like always. The hot spots were good. Kofi Kingston just never gave up, though. That's what I love about Kofi Kingston, man. That guy will never give up when he's in a match with any superstar. I mean, look when he versus Randy Orton, they said, in 2009, I think. He just never gave up when he wrestles, you know. He just, I love what he does. I love Kofi. I'm a fan of him. He's awesome. The, the kids love him. You know, he's he's awesome, man. And Kofi Kingston beats Wade Barrett. Very, very intensive match. And then Punk call, then Punk comes out, does a little promo. Says the fans in New York, uh, yeah, I was in New York. He says the, the fans are animals. Punk says, you and Ryback don't know what it feels like to be champions. And then he's like, this is not, it's not, this is Ryback's fault that I can't compete at TLC tonight. Because I would have been going crazy. I would have I would have went extreme. This is my paper, this, he's like, I think he said, this is my pay-per-view. He's like, I would have went crazy. I would have gave you what I got. But see, I'm hurt because of Ryback, you know. And then he talks about the shield. He's like, I'm a fan of the shield, but me and them are not together. We're not working together um, with the shield. I'm not working with the shield. Um, and then we have right back versus Kane. Right back, Kane, Daniel Bryan versus the shield. Wow. Let me tell you, man, they won their first match at TLC 2012. Very awesome match. There were some good hot spots. I mean, Seth Rollins going through a table. Right back goes up a ladder, and Seth Rollins goes through that table. It was 15 feet in the air. Um, there were suplexes, the shield suplex, Daniel Bryan. There was a table on top of the rope. They 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 go they all go on the table. They suplex him. They try to do it to Kane, didn't work. Then Kane does his clothesline off the table on Dean Ambrose. Um, I mean, it was awesome. Kane gets Kane. Gets speared by Roman Reigns. Um, I mean, it's awesome. Then right back gets triple power bomb by the Shield. The triple power bomb. Dean O'Brien put goes in that um, yes lock three times. Tries to get it on Dean Ambrose doesn't work. Roman Reigns doesn't work. Seth Rollins doesn't work. Then right back tries to um, do the shell shock. Um, there was a lot of good, awesome hot spots. Great map. Great freaking. Uh, like, I'm so talented. I, I'm, not, I'm not talented. I'm talented at what I bring to the table for you guys. But these wrestlers, man, Sh Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, and Seth Rollins, they were all fighting, you know, against each superstar. 
These guys bring a lot to the table. That's what I love about the Shield. I love the Shield. I don't hate them. I love what they bring to the WWE. I love what they can do. This is what the Shield is about. And they proved me, when I watched TLC this 2012, the DVD, this is what makes me love the Shield. This is what I love about them. They're destructive, okay? I mean, come on. Kane didn't get up for a while. But, I mean, my back came and fought back. It was a very good match. I was, I was really impressed by the chair shots. Dean Ambrose, DDT's Kane. I mean, it's awesome, man. And then right back, suplexes, um, two, two superstars, suplex, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins. And you should have seen it, Dean Ambrose's exit. Like, Dean Ambrose was like, ah, oh, that fucking hurt. That hurt, that hurt. He was hurting with that suplex on the, on the ladder. So, one of my, this is one of my favorite matches, man. When the Shield took off at TLC 2012. Then we have the Divas um, Championship belt. Naomi versus Eve Torres. Not a very good, not a match I was really looking for. Eve Torres wins. Then we have Big Show. He says, I got hit at 30, I got hit 32 times with chairs at Survivor Series. Thank the Sheamus. And then the whole contract thing where he can't hit Sheamus, where Sheamus can't hit Big Show on my SmackDown. So then we have Big Show taking on Sheamus. Big Show taking on Sheamus. It's a chairs match. It was a very good match. A lot of crazy moves, man. I mean, Big Show did good. Sheamus kicked down some of the matches, man. I mean, it was awesome. Choke slam, man. I mean, it was awesome. But they, they brought a lot to the table. Um, and then we have 3MB versus The Miz, Alberto Del Rio, and the Brooklyn Ball in the return. Very good match. I, I knew this was not, this was a good match because, you know, Miz and it was a very good match. Then we get to the main event. Oh, and Big Show wins the match against Sheamus, I forgot to say. Um, then Miz, they win against, they defeat 3MB. We have John Cena versus Dolph Ziggler. Very good match. Good hot spots. I mean, I mean, um, it was just so intense to what they did. I love the moves. I love where, you know, they moved around, climbing up ladders, trying to grab that Money in the Bank briefcase. It was awesome. Very good match. I can't complain. This was a very good pay-per-view, ladies and gentlemen. I would, and look who was on the cover of it. I know, right? Very good pay-per-view, man. I would say, go pick this pay-per-view. Go pick up this DVD to add it to your, to your oh, I can't even speak today. Add it to your WWE 2012 collection. And, yeah, go pick this up. I got it for like six bucks. So, I mean, not bad. At FYE. So, yeah, guys, there's a lot of WWE DVD reviews coming soon. I'm telling you. I got a lot of WWE DVD reviews from different years, with different pay-per-views from different years. So stay tuned for that. Spread the word, tell everybody across Twitter, Facebook, tell your friends at college, if they're wrestling fans, your school, if they're wrestling fans, spread the word like wildfire, because this channel's gonna be awesome. Why? Because I'm the famous one, the only one, one and only, famous team WWF 2001. I'm signing out with your 2012 DVD review, TLC, subscribe. Yeah, baby.